Hey y'all, it's Tammy. Um, good morning and Merry Christmas. I wanted to uh, talk about who Jesus is this morning. And uh, because he is the reason for the day of Christmas. And so many of us go through the hustle and bustle. And we uh, don't think about who the center of Christmas is. And that is Jesus Christ. So I'm going to read to you in my Charles Stanley book what he has written for the day of Christmas. And this says, who is Jesus? It says, who do you say that I am? And that comes out of Matthew 16, 15. And it says, do you truly know who Jesus is? Is he more to you than a baby born in Bethlehem? More than just some religious leader in whom you're supposed to believe? Is he your life, your hope, and future? I hope that you'll stay on here and give the Lord time this morning out on a Christmas morning when it's the very day that he deserves our worship and thoughtfulness and remembrance and, wor and worship more than any other day. Um, it says, we can go to church and sing songs about Jesus, but never actually honor him. We can miss the joy and reverence of relating to him personally and intimately. So I don't know of a better time to search our hearts than at Christmas. We know the facts. Jesus was born to Mary and Joseph in Bethlehem and raised in an obscure village of Nazareth. We may even realize the impact of his life. His birth is the event that divides time into B.C. and A.D. He did not travel far from home, yet he has influenced the entire world. Satan could not tempt him. Death could not destroy him. And the grave could not keep him. He is the living God, and we can know him because he sacrificially gives himself to us. But do you really honor him in the way he deserves? He's certainly worth all of it that you are. He's worthy of all that you are. So this Christmas, really think about who he is and give him the gift that truly represents what he means to you. I have seen so many people come on here and then leave, and it goes to show that we don't give Jesus the time out that he deserves. Those of you who are staying on here, I appreciate it, and God does too, because today is all about the Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm just going to read the names of Jesus this morning so that we can think about who Jesus is to us, who we are compared to him, and what this day is about, okay? The names of Jesus. Alpha and Omega, which means the beginning and end of all things. He's the bread of life, the one essential food. The chief cornerstone, a sure foundation of life. Let me just say this about the bread of life, one essential food. You can find that in John 6, 35. And let me say this. He is our food. And for those of you who are sad or empty today on Christmas Day, I pray that you would feed on Jesus' food so that you'll feel better because it's amazing what he can do for us when we put our trust in him. He's the chief cornerstone, a sure foundation of life. He's Christ. This title makes clear Jesus' redemptive mission and affirms him as the fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecy. He's God, the Father of all. He's the high priest, the perfect mediator. He's Emmanuel, the one who always stands with us. He's Jesus, his personal name. He's King of King and Lord of Lords, the Sovereign Almighty. 
He's the Lamb of God, offered his life as a sacrifice for sins. He's the light of the world, one who brings hope and gives guidance. He's the Lord, our sovereign creator and redeemer. He's the mediator, the redeemer who brings forgiven sinners into the presence of God. He's the Messiah, the title connecting Christ with the Old Testament prophecy of a coming prophet, priest, and king. He's a prophet, a faithful proclaim, a faithful proclaimer of God's word. He's a rabbi and teacher, a title of respect for one who teaches the scripture, a savior, one who delivers from sin and death. He's a shepherd, one who gives guidance and protection. He's the son of David, a title connecting Jesus with the Davidic throne, affirming God's covenant with David. He's the son of God, a title of deity, signifying Jesus' unique intimacy with the Father. He's the son of man, a title identifying Jesus with us. He's the Word, a unique communication of God from man, from creation until now, through the Word of Jesus Christ. I'm going to go down through here one more time, and y'all think about the things that Jesus is, and that is the Alpha and Omega, the Bread of Life, Chief Cornerstone, Christ, God, High Priest, Emmanuel, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Lamb of God, Light of the World, Lord, Mediator, Messiah, Prophet, Rabbi, Teacher, Savior, Shepherd, Son of David, Son of God, Son of Man, and most of all, to me, He's my Savior, and He is the Word of God. I hope you put Jesus in your plans today. And take the time out to look in God's Word and read about our Savior and see what God has in store for you. Um, thanks for watching. Merry, Merry Christmas. Without Christ, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be breathing. He enables us to have an abundant life here on earth. And me and my family are truly blessed. I pray the same blessings would be upon you the, the following year in the year 2019. Thanks for watching. We love y'all. The Nichols family in Dallas, Georgia.